hi there. You know, one thing that my clients often tell me is that they try to set boundaries and they just find it really hard to set a boundary and to then keep up, keep it up. And it becomes this kind of big thing. You know, people come into the therapy room and they, they talk about whatever the issue is. And they say, I keep trying to set boundaries and I'm no good at setting boundaries. And I'm, it's all too much. And they've kind of told themselves this now that this is how they are. But actually, boundaries work best if we take them in small steps with easier people. So if you if you have a situation in your life that's quite difficult to set a boundary, perhaps with a, a person who's quite challenging, what I suggest you do is you start setting boundaries away from that. So there are things you can do in your own life, quirky things like Always take the stairs instead of the lift. Go to bed at the same time every night. You know, things like that, that tell your subconscious that boundaries work, that you can do boundaries, because the boundaries you have with yourself are just as important as the boundaries you set with other people. So set some personal self boundaries, some routines, get your brain thinking like that, get your, yourself to feel empowered that this can happen. And then when it comes to setting boundaries with other people, don't go to this really difficult, challenging person and, and try and do this big thing and make this big change. Set boundaries with the easy people in your life, the ones that maybe you don't really need to set boundaries that much, but just you know, tell them, say, you know what, I'm practicing boundaries. So I might say no to you sometimes. And you can do that with a smile, you know, and, and in my experience, people say, oh, that's a good idea. I think I'll try that as well. And so you can have a sort of a fun experience around this with each other. Set those boundaries with easier people. And again, you're saying to your subconscious and you're saying to yourself, oh, I can do this. I can set boundaries. And then work your way up to setting those bigger boundaries with those more challenging situations and more challenging people, because it won't be such a leap for you then, because you'll, you'll feel that you're good, you'll feel empowered, that you're good at boundaries and that you can make them work. And you'll feel more confident in yourself so that if you know this situation is difficult, the person is defensive as they're likely to be, you'll feel more confident in yourself anyway, because you've already been doing boundaries. So you'll feel able to navigate that and to feel calmer around it. And watch some of my other videos as well for tips on what to do then. Okay, if you like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button, the like button, because that means other people will be more likely to see the video and they'll hear this tip. So you're helping me to help them. And that's a great thing. And do subscribe because it means that you'll be notified of other videos I'm making. I'd love to hear your comments about this video, your experience of setting boundaries, what you've tried, what works, what doesn't work, what you think about this tip. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.